All right, please welcome the stage, Francisco Garcia the third. Yes, hello, Cap City. Hello, Austin, Texas. How are we? Great. I love this city. I love this town. I've lived here 15 years. Everybody wants to move here. It's like the land of milk and honey, right? But unfortunately, it's full of hipsters and vegans and, and uh, sugar-free, dairy-free people. It's, that's not the land of milk and honey. That's like the land of kale and kombucha. Nobody wants to do that <laughs> shit, right? That's the worst. <laughs> But yeah, I have lived here 15 years. Um, I've been doing Santa for about five years, and I have performed all over my apartment. It is the best. It is the best, yeah. Uh, best performance has been the shower. The acoustics are awesome. Uh, and I get heckled the most in front of my bathroom mirror, which is weird. We want to see the real you. What the hell? This reflection's an asshole, right? Yeah, and you might notice as I walk up on stage uh, that I have a slight limp. Uh, that's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's a very mild case of what's called cerebral palsy. Um, so first of all, in show business, uh, you know, people often say like, hey, you know, they don't say good luck, they say break a leg. But with me, they're like, hey, break a, uh, try not to fall down. How about that? Right. Stay upright. Thanks for Cap City bringing out the ramp, by the way. Appreciate it, right on. It's just for me. Yeah. It's, it, I feel like cerebral palsy is real popular, right? Like, R.J. Mini from Breaking Bad has cerebral palsy. Um, what's his name? Josh Blue, the comedian, has cerebral palsy, right? I feel like it's, it's a trendy disability. It's a hip disability, right? <laughs> it, that fucking sucks. I need, I need a new disability. I need a new shtick. A new disability. But unfortunately, President of the United States is taken. So... <laughs> I have to just... <laughs> kick that out of there. That's as high as I can kick. How about that? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, they, so, uh, yeah, CP doesn't really get in the way of my uh, dating or anything like that. Like, if I go to speed dating, it's kind of cool because I get a head start. Um, <laughs> that's kind of cheesy. <laughs> um, also, uh, like, so a couple of months ago, I ran into this girl who I used to date, and she left to Oregon. She came back, and we had this conversation, and there was, like, a slight pause in the conversation. And, you know, she said, so, Francisco, how are your two legs? <laughs> how am I supposed to respond to that? Uh, the only way I knew how. I said, they're great. You should see my third one. <laughs> yes. That's right. It works. It works. Yeah. You know, I can actually use my CP to my advantage. Like, if I go on a blind date, you know, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll show up first to the rendezvous point. You know, so that way I'm already seated, having my drink, having my food. She comes in, she sits down. We get to talking, we get to drinking, you know. And by the time we're both a little tipsy, she's none the wiser. Now we both get up, we're both a little shaky, right? We get home, we have sex. I wake up in the morning telling her, what'd you do? Oh, that's great. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, what else about me? Um, uh, I got a lot of family in the military. Uh, my dad was a Marine, my cousins, uncles, uh, they're all some sort of armed forces. Clearly, I am not, right? Uh, and I just, I don't have the look of the military. I know I don't. And I asked my dad once, I said, Dad, do I have a military look? And he said, well, you do, Miku, but it's kind of a don't ask, don't tell kind of look. <laughs> like, all right. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, the men of my family, they're really machismo, they're really manly, like they only cry at your funeral and that's only if there's no open bar. It's a lot like us. Um, speaking of military, so I've been thinking a lot about the Secret Service. I think the Secret Service has a really uh, crappy name, right? I think you just call them what they are, they're bodyguards, right? They protect the president, that's what they do. There's no secret about that, right? You wanna call something a Secret Service? I got that, glory holes. <laughs> Yes, right? You don't know what's going on back there, right? That's a headshot worth taking, if you ask me, right? Back and down the throat. Is that how it goes? All right. That joke worked a whole lot better on Jerry's kids when I did that. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. Yeah, and clearly, uh, you know, like growing up with CP, uh, a lot of times kids, they would ask me, you know, like, hey, Frankie, why do, you, why do you walk that way? And I would say, well, to be honest with you, God's a dick, you know? That's the first, that's the first thing that came to my mind, right? 
But um, I think, like, if I had kids, you know, they would, uh, first of all, I, I wouldn't chase them, because, I mean, really. Uh, but they, they would ask me, hey, Dad, why do you walk that way? And I'd say, because, Miko, when I was your age, I didn't listen. Now shut up and go to sleep! <laughs> right? Domestic violence for the win. Yeah. No, uh, I, I, I'm, I've been... Um, I've been lying to you. Man, you're dressed so well. You look like you have a good thread count. Um, if you know what that is. Uh, I've been lying to you that the uh, limp is not cerebral palsy. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a large cock. It's a lot of weight to carry. It's science. I'm sure there's a black man in here who can relate to that. And uh, that's my time. Thanks, guys.